Welcome to Friday, July 12th, 2024, this day with a podcast brought to you by Wyoming State Parks. Why wonder about the outdoors in Wyoming? Explore the statewide interactive outdoor recreation wonder map to find your next adventure. Well, the heat will continue along with isolated thunderstorms. So again, the same headline as yesterday is there's really nothing new. There's really so many ways we can tell you it's going to be hot. And that's certainly what we're dealing with here over the next three or four days. But as we've been hinting, once we get past the weekend, there will be some subtle changes. The hottest of the hot will be occurring over the next three days for most of you. Now, there's still going to be the southern plains, the southwest, the interior west that will still have a lot of heat. The hottest temperatures in the central and northern Rockies and the central and northern high plains will be today through Sunday. As we have been seeing, weak thunderstorm activity is going to be popping up. There's just enough moisture available for that. Although I think in some areas today, the amount of thunderstorm activity will be somewhat less. But there's enough subtropical moisture that through the weekend, even in all the heat, there'll be some of these weak isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evenings. Deeper subtropical moisture flow does have the ability to come in. And Monday and into Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday in particular, you're going to see better rain producing showers and thunderstorms that will help shave several degrees off the temperatures as well. Now the heat for the most part early next week gets suppressed in the far southern and far western areas. Long term though we're going to see the high pressure kind of rebuild so the heat is here to stay folks. Even though we're not going to be nearly as uh, oppressively hot in the next seven to ten days once we get done with this heat wave it's still going to be plenty plenty warm. Take you to look at some great sunsets yesterday all across the region. Uh, we have a little bit of wildfire smoke dripping south out of Canada that got into some areas and that led to some really pretty sunsets across the region from Leadville and Cheyenne all the way up to Lovell. Some nice sunsets and I think we'll probably see that again. So if you want to escape your air conditioned house and Check out the sunsets. We're likely going to see that here over the next few days. Taking a look at the satellite imagery this morning, some nocturnal thunderstorm activity. You can see these thunderstorms right here. We had some over northeastern Wyoming, western South Dakota, parts of Nebraska, into Missouri and Kansas here. Winds aloft are still coming in from the northwest in that flow and just enough moisture that some nocturnal thunderstorm activity last night. It's dry elsewhere, but interesting on the water vapor image this morning. Notice this. This has not been here over the last several mornings. A tongue of some of that subtropical moisture is working its way in. Now, there's really not a lot of cloudiness here, but what we're seeing is the higher humidity air that we've been talking about getting drawn up for later on is starting to come in. But if you're going to be in these orange areas here, you're just going to be hot and dry today. But under the axis of these brighter colored clouds, rather not clouds, but higher water content air as you're seeing here, that's where your isolated thunderstorm activity is most likely going to be today. But this interjection of moisture is going to rotate around the high. That's what's going to give us these isolated thunderstorms this weekend. Here's your heat advisory map. All of those colors that you see here in the West is for some type of advisory for extreme heat, hot conditions, or red flag warnings for high fire danger. That's something to watch out for. We did see some grass fires, have seen some grass fires in the region from lightning strikes uh, over the last several days. And that's something that we've got to keep an eye on for the weekend, both the plains and in the mountains. High pressure early this morning over the southwest corner of Utah. So it's taken about three or four days for the high pressure axis to go from southern Nevada to Utah. So it's a slow moving high pressure ridge. Today, this is where the isolated thunderstorms are going to be. And you can see from the satellite imagery I showed you where that moisture is. So we're starting to see that come up here. Not much going on in the middle. Temperatures today look like this for highs, similar to yesterday, but nudging up a degree or two in many areas. Temperatures are going to be just like this through the next few days. That's what it's going to be like on Saturday. Saturday and Sunday will be the hottest two days for most of you. 
That's what thunderstorm chances look like on Saturday. Getting a little bit deeper and a little bit more north here. Thunderstorms will be a little bit more widespread across parts of South Dakota, Nebraska, and eastern Montana. In between, more spotty, but they're going to be out there. Sunday, high pressure starts to move a little bit more. More towards being centered over Grand Junction, and this is when temperatures reach their peak for most of you. So those are our forecasted high temperatures on Sunday. Look at all the 100s here in Kansas, Colorado, Nebraska, down into the Panhandles. Now, western slope areas, the interior west, you're just going to continue to bake, although you might see temperatures a degree or two cooler. Thunderstorm activity on Sunday starts to get a little bit more widespread, especially western slope areas into Utah western areas of Wyoming, even going up into southern Oregon here as that moisture plume comes up. Look at Arizona. Arizona's thunderstorm activity picks up. That'll get up into the Four Corners area as well. Then as we take a look at temperatures by Monday, the heat is more suppressed now into eastern Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska. Cooler air comes in out of Canada up here to make temperatures a lot more moderate for North Dakota and South Dakota and eastern Montana you get a little bit of a break, but the heat continues down here in the deserts. And their thunderstorm activity Monday, getting a little bit more coalesced now along both sides of the divide. And the moisture will be deep enough then that these will be better rain producing thunderstorms. Monday by Tuesday, the high pressure ridge is gonna be weakening. This trough in Canada kind of cutting down the heat a little bit and causing the high to temporarily weaken. That will lead to a good activity, a good pattern here, where the thunderstorms will be a lot more widespread on Tuesday. So Monday and Tuesday may have some severe weather here in these areas with the increased moisture and still plenty of daytime heating. As you can see, the moisture is going to rotate along the front range and then east of the divide, drying out a little bit temporarily right here before we watch the next plume of moisture coming up later in the week. And there are your temperatures by Wednesday. The heat suppressed in the south and the west, more moderate temperatures here. So there'll be a bit of a break in the heat. But as I mentioned at the beginning, high pressure will expand northward again by the second half of next week. So get used to the heat. Have yourself a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.